not realize it, but some of your favorite things come in rectangular solids. That's right, boxes. Some are pretty and wrapped. Some are just plain. But I think we can agree that rectangular solids make an appearance at any good birthday party. In this lesson, we're going to talk about finding their volume. First off, let's get to know the parts of the box. A vertex is the corner, a face is one side, and an edge is the line created when two faces meet. The volume of a rectangular solid is the length times the width times the height. Now let's talk about surface area. Just like it sounds, the surface area is the total area that the surface of a rectangular object occupies. It's the area of the top and bottom of the box, the length times the width times two because there are two of them, plus the area of the sides of the box, the length times height times two, plus the area of the front and back of the box, the width times the height times two. Put it all together and you get surface area equals two length times width plus two length times height plus two width times height. You may not need to memorize that whole surface area formula because finding the surface area is intuitive if you just remember to find the area of all the surfaces and add them together. Now that we know how to find the surface area of a box, let's move on to long diagonals. The long diagonal of a rectangular solid is the longest line that can be drawn inside the box. It stretches from the bottom left front of the box to the back right top of the box, or any of these other extreme corners. An easy way to remember the formula for long diagonals is to think of it as the 3D version of the Pythagorean theorem. Let's take a look at how that plays out. Start with the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Then write it in three dimensions. a squared plus b squared plus c squared equals d squared. Now take the square root of both sides. And last, substitute the length, width, and height in for a, b, and c. The square root of length squared plus width squared plus height squared equals the long diagonal, or d. Let's find the volume, surface area, and long diagonal, bc, of this rectangular solid. We're given a length of four, a width of seven, and a height of four. Let's label our length, width, and height because the formula for volume is length times width times height. Substituting four for length, seven for width, and four for height, we get four times seven times four equals 112. The surface area is two times the area of each face. Plugging in four for the length, seven for the width, and four for the height, and using our calculator, we get 144 for the surface area. We'll bring back the diagonal formula. Plug in our values to find that the long diagonal BC is the square root of four squared plus seven squared plus four squared, which our calculator tells us is nine. Now let's talk about the coolest rectangular solid, the cube. A cube is a special case of rectangular solid where all of the edges have the same length. The parts of the cube are just like those of any rectangular solid. The formula for volume is side or S cubed. And because all the sides are equal, the formula for surface area is six times the area of one side or six times S squared. If you need to find the long diagonal of a cube, it's easiest to start with the formula for the long diagonal of a rectangular solid and just make the length, width, and height the same. Now we're ready to look at an ACT question that asks us to compare the volume of two rectangular solids. If the edges of a small rectangular solid are doubled in length to produce a new larger rectangular solid, then the larger rectangular solid's volume is how many times the smaller rectangular solid's volume? A is two, B is three, C is four, D is six, and E is eight. We'll underline the facts, circle the keywords of the question, and label the answer choices. Since the question asks how many times, we know this is a division problem, which we can solve using the picking numbers strategy. Let's start by drawing a picture of a rectangular solid, since the question doesn't provide one. And let's label the length four, the width three, and the height five. So if we plug these values into our volume formula, Volume equals length times width times height. We have three times four times five. So our original rectangular solid's volume is 60. To find the volume of a rectangular solid that's twice the size, we'll have to double the length, the width, and the height. The new solid's length is six, width is eight, and height is 10. Multiply them and you'll get 480. Divide 480 by the original solid's volume, 60, to get eight. 
in order to find out how many times larger the volume of the second object is, and we get choice E. Now that you know how to calculate the volume of rectangular solids and cubes, you can improve your gift sleuthing skills exponentially. But if you're caught sneaking around in your parents' closet looking for presents, just tell them you're practicing for the ACT.